Hey guys, Lloyd the Creeper Killer here. And today we're back in Undertale at the Waterfall Checkpoint. And on the saving screen, y'all y'all notice that Santa and Papyrus has been added since I've finished Snowden. And well, let's just continue. And let's let's talk to Sans here. What, haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grillby's. Wanna come? Sure. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here, I know a shortcut. Okay. And we're in Snowden. Back in Grillby's. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hi, Sansy. Hey, Sans, weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? No, I haven't had breakfast in a, at least a half an hour. You just... You must be thinking of brunch. Here, get comfy. And he put a whoopee cushion there. He's sick skeleton. Whoops. Watch where you sit. Watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Fries or burgers? Um, guys, put put in the comments below what y'all would prefer, fries or burgers, but I'll just take burger. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grilby, we'll have a double order of bird. And he's coming his skull. What in the world? So, what do you, what do you think of my brother? He's pretty cool. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool to you'd be cool too if you were or that if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only he'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. And here comes Grilby with the double order of bird. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Mm, no. More for me. He just drunk the whole thing and now he's scratching his butt. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree Papyrus trust real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him in in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, a uh, still a work in progress. Oh, yeah. I wanted to ask you something. Um... Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Well, yeah, I met Flowey. So you know all about it. The Echo Flower. They're all over or the marsh. Say something to them and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just 10,000 G. 
shirt. Just kidding. Ruby, put it on my tab. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Okay. Well, back towards the waterfall. Just gotta go past the library and past Sands and Papyrus' house and past their and past their shed and through Papyrus' area. <sighs> and welcome back to Waterfall, everybody. If if no one was around for the last episode. Let's hang out again sometime. Okay, Sam. See you later. And we're in Waterfall. And right here, I have to dodge rocks. And make sure not to get pushed down. And there's some bushes. And there's Papyrus. Ha Hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier... Huh? Did I fight them? Y yes of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? Well, 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 no. I tried very hard on mine, but in the end, I failed. Well, what? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But Undyne, you don't ha have to destroy them. You see, you see... I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Oh boy. Uh oh. Oh no. I don't want to die. I would, I would much, I would much like to keep my, my heart and safely inside my body beating. Instead of instead of being held out in front of my screaming face. Yo, did you see that the way she was staring at you? That was awesome. I'm so jealous. What did you do to get her attention? <laughs> Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. You know, honestly, I feel kind of bad for MK over there, because, because, well, he has no arms. Feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. And save. Continuing on, grab this, grab this, and grab this, and also this. And let's continue on to the next area. Aaron flexes in. Let's see, flex. You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for you too. Flexing contest. Okay, flex more. Okay, water droplets. Is that all you got? Okay. You flex harder. Aaron flexes thrice as hard. Attack increases for you too. Nice. I won't lose. Oh, nice. I won't lose though. More water, really, man. You flex. Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. You won. You earn zero X XP and three gold. Nice. Anyways, continuing on. Another one of these little flower puzzles. Let's see here. I know how to do this one.
And continuing. Ring. Hello, this is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequ sequentiality until I got yours. Yeah. So, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a bandana. Is that true? Are you wearing a bandana? Um, no. So you aren't wearing a bandana? Got it. You're my friend, so I trust you 100%. Have a nice day. I'm just, I'm just saying that because I overheard you talking to Undon earlier. Watch she was shuffles up. Okay. Clean. You ask Washua to clean you. It hops around excitedly. Green means clean. And boom. And now he should be sparing me and goodbye. Alright, continuing on. <sighs> And here's another Undyne area because there's a little bit of a shadow effect here. So let's just continue on. Oh crap. Nope, no, 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 Get rough rolled in, Don. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, monster kid, no. He grabbed you by the eyeball. Ouch. That, that just had to hurt. She grabbed you by the eyeball, man. Yo, did you see that? Undyne just touched me. I'm never washing my face ever again. Man, are, are you unlucky? If you were standing just a little bit to the left, yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. Ooh. You know, maybe he's used to hurting his face because he, he trips a lot. <sighs> Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mysti mystical crystal, it fills you with determination. And continuing on. Hey, Sands. I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally f f fifty thousand G to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? Sure. Why is this red? Dang it, Sands. Huh? You aren't satisfied? Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. Boy. <sighs> Use the box. Um, right, there's the stuff in there that I left. Hey, it's the nice cream dude. Relocated my store, but there are still no customers. Fortunately, I thought of a solution. Punch cards. Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. They're sure, they're sure to get the customers to come back. Nice cream is the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 25G. Sure, I'll take some. Super, here you go. Your card's in the box. Okay. Just, I'll take three, man. Take three. 
step outside for a minute and use the box let's see here put the monster candy in there and these nice creams that way I can get the three punch cards two bugs in the box are playing a three three card game take a card take all games must end one day. You got a punch card. The box contains two cards. I'll, I'll take all of them. That way I can get a free ice cream. Hey, you have three punch cards. How about redeeming them for some ice creams? It's free. Nice. You lost three cards and got a ice cream. Okay. See ya. And I'll... Uh, I'll grab these nice creams out of Oh, no. I don't want the monster candy. I want the nice creams. Okay. I have no idea what this is, but it looks like an onion. The water here, though... It looks a little neon, if y'all ask me. Ring. Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about your clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very... murdery. Well, worry not, dear human. Papyrus would never betray you. You said you were not wearing a bandana. So, of course, I actually told her you were indeed wearing a bandana. I, it, pain, it pained me to tell such a bold-faced lie. But since you aren't wearing a bandana, she surely won't attack you. Now you are safe and sound. Wow, we. This is very. This is hard. I just want to be everybody's friend. Okay, bye, Paris. And two mold smalls. I can just go ahead and spare them. And get nothing. And keep on going up. A little left. Keep on going up this way. Um, what is that? What the heck is that? Hey there. Notice you were here. I'm Onion San. Onion San, you here? Okay. You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Even though the water is getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but... Hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium like all my friends did. And the aquarium's full anyway, so even if I wanted to, uh, that's okay, though, you hear? Undine's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna uh, get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Hey there, that's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. And waterfall! Okay, bye, pal. Yeah. Chiron hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. Um, hum. You hear a, you hum a funky tone. Chiron follows your melody. Siri, 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 Siri. I'm just gonna keep on humming. He hums some more. Monsters are, are drawn to the music. Suddenly, it's a concert. Sifa, 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 la, la, la. Oh, crap. That hurt. You hear some more. You hum some more. The seats are sold out. You feel like a rock star. Miso, miso, misi, mi, la, la, la. Holy crap. 
you hum some more with the, con the constant attention, the tours, the groupies, it's all aggressive tooting. Oh crap, oh crap. No, 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 no. I wish to not die from your music. You and Sharon have come so far, but it's time. You both have your own journeys to embark on. You hum a farewell song. Final two. Holy crap, that's a whole lot of humming. Ow. Okay, bye, Sharon. That hurt like balls. Let's use this. An illustration of a hug. Okay. Now, I've done this little thing before. Let's see here. There's a piano here. Play it. Um... Boom. Y'all like my music? Comment down below if y'all do. It's a legendary artifact. Will you take it? Yes. You're carrying too many dogs. What? Annoying dog. Dog. Oh. Dog. A little white dog. It's fast asleep. What is a dog doing in my bag? I'm just gonna drop him. You put the dog on the ground. Oh! The dog absorbs the artifact. No! You stupid dog. Why? It's gone forever. It's gone forever. Why? I don't like that dog. <sighs> well, continuing on my journey. Now, y'all know the music I just played on the piano? Well, listen what happens when I put this over the, over the statue. Y'all hear that, right? Inside the statue, a music box begins to play. Okay. Just gonna take an umbrella and continue on. <laughs> Where's Monster Kid? Yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> so how's life, Monster Kid? Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up the bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet my I would wet the bed every night. Knowing she was gonna beat me up. <laughs> um Yeah, well she's about to beat me up. Just in a few minutes, you realize that, right? So, one time, we had a school project where we had to uh, take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. Um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt any, any innocent people. And that right there, guys, I'm pretty sure is where her... Asgore, king of all monsters, lives right there back in the background. And put the umbrella up, return the umbrella, yes, you return the umbrella. 
Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Hmm. Yo, you wanna see Undyne, right? Climb on my shoulders. Bro, what shoulders? You don't you don't have any arms. So you, yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I'll I'll always find a way to get through. Okay, see a monster kid. Wait. Since he says he has shoulders, does that mean he's wearing a shirt with no armholes? Maybe. I know. The serene sound of the of a distant music box. It fills you with determination. And continuing on. And here's another undone area. Well. Time to die. <laughs> uh oh. Um, I would, I would very much like to uh, keep my head, please. I'd very much like to keep my head undone. Please let me keep my head. I wish to not die today. The way I'm pretty sure is down this, down this direction. the bridge. We It sounds like it came from over here. Oh, you you fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. Lloyd, huh? That's a nice name. My name is Well, I'm not going to spoil anything because I already know who that was. But he's a he's a character you made at the end of the game. But technically you've already met him in the game. Well, technically I've already met him in the game. But I'm not spoiling anything for y'all guys. Coming for you guys. <laughs> Okay, continuing. Same. Seems like a regular training dummy. Do you want to beat it up? No. We stare into each other's eyes for a moment. And continuing. Uh oh. Oh crap, it's Goku and a dummy. Ha ha ha. Too intimidated to fight me, huh? I'm a ghost that lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy too, until you came along. When you talked to them, they thought that you were in for a nice chat. But the, th but the things you said, horrible, shocking, unbelievable. It spooked them right out of their dummy. Human. I'll scare your soul out of your body. Uh oh. Mad dummy blocks the way. Basically, the key to this fight is like. is like Toriel and Pyrus's fight. 
you gotta spare him. Futile, futile, futile. No, nope, nope. And you gotta make those tiny dummies magic blast. Aim at him instead of your soul. Ow, you dummies. Watch where you're aiming your magic attacks. Hey, you forget I said anything about magic. This camera won't focus, and I don't know why. My dummy is looking nervous. Um, maybe, maybe this is because I'm a little bit too zoomed in. Okay. I'll defeat you and take your soul. And... Hit him with those magic attacks. I'll use your soul to cross the barrier. Dodged. I'll stand in the window of a fancy store. Then everything I want will be mine. Let's dodge this and aim that at him. Huh? Yeah, I guess that that'll avenge my cousin. Dodge this, dodge this, and aim that at him. What was their name again? Um, Ekfano. Ah, missed. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay, dodge this and dodge this and this at him. Pitiful, pitiful, pitiful. And I name that at him. Hey guys. Dummies, dummies, dummies. Remember how I said not to shoot me and shoot at me? Well, failures, you're all fired. You're all being replaced. <laughs> now you'll see my true power. Relying on people that aren't garbage. Dummy bots, magic missiles. And dodge uh, this and aim that at him. Boom. Dummy bots, try again. And dodge that. Every missile is hitting him. Um, dummy bots, you're awful. And dodge this and a lot of missiles hitting him. Dummy bot's final attack. Ow. That hurt. Oh no. Boom. No. No way. These guys are even worse than the others. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I don't need friends. I've got knives. I'm out of knives. Lol. But it doesn't matter. You can't hurt me and I can't hurt you. You'll be stuck fighting me forever. 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 <laughs> oh, what the heck is this? Oh, acid rain? Oh, forget it. I'm out of here. Okay, bye. Hey, it's next bloke. Sorry, I interrupted you, didn't I? As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. Oh, no. You guys looked like you were having fun. Oh no, I just wanted to say hi. Oh no. Okay, bye, that's the blue. Well, I'm going to head home now. Oh, um, feel free to come with if you want. But no pressure. I understand if you're busy. It's fine. No worries. Just thought I'd offer. Okay, bye, Napster Blake. Hey, my house is up here. 
in case you want to see or in case you don't. Oh, I'm gonna visit the dude. I might add a few minutes to the episode, but I'm just gonna visit the dude just to pay him a visit. And this is his house right here. Oh, you really came. Sorry, I wasn't expecting that. It's not much, but make yourself at home. Okay. Uh, do you wanna listen to some tunes or something? Oh, are you hungry? I can get you something to eat. This is a ghost sandwich. Do you want to try it? Sure. You attempt to bite into the ghost sandwich. You phase right through it. Oh, never mind. After a great meal, I like to lay on the ground and feel like garbage. It's a family tradition. Do you want to join me? Sure. Okay, follow my lead. Here we go. You lie down as long as you don't move. So only move around when, when you want to get up, I guess. Let's just take a minute to relax, guys. If it's fun with y'all. Hmm. Whoa. Trippy. Oh, Spork, I think it's about time I get going. Well, that was nice. Thank you. Okay. You still need to recover after lying, lying down. <sighs> Let's come back in. This CD is labeled Spooky Tunes. Play it. <laughs> okay, well, if you go out of this house, the Spooky Tunes music will still be playing. And this is a little Easter egg when you go out here and walk over here. And look at these dudes. What the heck is that music? I don't know, dude, but it's spooking me out. This is the worst, this is worse than Sharon. Bro, that's not cool. No way, Sharon is way less scary. If you're so scared, why do you keep winking? These are winks of fear. Forget it, this, this beat is too filthy. Wash, wait, don't leave me. Is this creepy music my punishment for being creepy? Please, stop. I'll never creep again. Ah. Okay, see ya. Well, continuing. And this is an area where you can buy stuff, but I don't really need anything. So let's just keep on going. On um, through this water and on um, through waterfall. Now, guys, I'm I'm about to show y'all another Easter egg. It'll add a few more minutes to our episode, but it's a cool little secret area. Special enemy Timmy appears here to defeat you. Um. You say hello to Timmy. Hi, I'm Timmy. No, no, Timmy. No, bad Timmy. Bad Timmy. I don't want to die. Smells like Timmy Flakes. Okay, bye. Oh, going down this way. And welcome to Timmy Village, everybody. Bop, 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 bop. You feel something 
You're filled with determination. <laughs> uh, she's a Timmy over you, just creeping around. Mushroom dance, mushroom dance. Whatever could it mean? Um, symbolizes my inner torment, trapping, trapped here by my uh, high phase. My struggle to pull away, my struggle to escape. But no, but alas, to no avail. Um, okay. I'll just leave now. But anyways, continuing through Waterfall. Let's just go on this way. And this way down here. And... Play the mold small and this mold small is very normal. Um, imitate. You approach mold small suddenly. Oh crap! Oh crap! It's a rat. Mold bug. Mold bug gyrates reservedly. Um. I'll just lie down. You lie down. Mold, mold bag lies down too. Mold bag understands life now. <laughs> um, I very much like to keep my head, sir. All right, unhug. You don't hug mold bag. It appreciates your respective boundaries. Okay. Let's just does these. Okay, I can spare it now. <sighs> Let's not encounter that thing again. Am I right, guys? Uh, and through here, I just gotta press these lamps. That way it stays lit up. That way the room stays lit up. So I gotta get through here as fast as possible. Washua and Aaron appears. Oh, I'll, I'll ask Washua to clean me. Green means clean. Ah, I didn't, I didn't get anything. I didn't get any green stuff. Okay. Ow. Ow. Oh no. I better heal. Cinnamon bun. Okay. Just gotta move around by that. Don't get too close. And dodge these muscles. Ouch. And flex. And flexing contest. Here we go. Ouch. Please, I'd, I'd love to keep my head without your muscles squeezing it off. And dodge all this water. And... Goodbye, Aaron. Now that's a lot of money. Okay, I get to this lamp and boom. Now this little part, I've noticed it's shaped like a Nazi symbol. Which, I don't really like that much. And on through here. Water. Everything's getting darker. Uh-oh. Behind you. Uh-oh. Seven. Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgore Dreamer, will become a god. With that power, Asgore will finally shadow, shatter the barrier. He will finally take the 
the surface back from humanity and give them back what the suffering and pain that we have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul or I'll tear it from your body. Oh no. I'd rather have my heart safely beating inside my chest instead of being held in front of my screaming face. Undyne, I'll help you fight. Yo, you did it. Undyne is right in front of you. You've got front row seats to her fight. Wait, who's she fighting? Hey, hey, you aren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? Well, that went well. I don't know why, guys, but my camera won't focus in. But, oh well. Let's just continue on through here. And across this bridge. Yo. Yo, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I want to ask you something. Man, I've never had to ask anyone this before. Um, yo, you're human, right? <laughs> Man, I knew it. Well, I know it. I know it now. I mean, Anand told me, um, stay away from that human. So, like, um, I guess that makes us enemies or something. But I kind of stink at that. <laughs> Yo, say something mean so I can hate you. Please. No, man, you're my friend. Yo, what? So I have to do it? Here goes, here goes nothing. Yo, I... I hate your guts. Man, I such a turd. I'm I'm gonna go home now. Uh oh. Yo, whoa, whoa, wait. Help I truck Uh oh. No. Yo, 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 dude, if, if you, you want to hurt my friend, you're going to have to get through me first. That's right, you better run. She's gone. Yo, you really saved my skin. Guess being enemies was just a nice thought. <laughs> well... We'll just have to be friends instead. Man, I should really go home. I bet my parents are worried sick about me. Okay, bye, monster kid. Later, dude. Later, mater. Anyways, on to, on to the next area. <sighs> Now, guys, just a warning. There's going to be some cuss words here pretty soon. Seven. Seven human souls and King Asgore will become a god. Six. That's how many we have right, have collected thus far. Understand? Through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as, I, as is customary for those who make it this far... I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago. No, you know what? I'm not saying this. Why should I? Um, yeah, that's going too fast for me to read. Oh, shoot. Her face is revealed. You. You're standing in the way of everybody's hopes and dreams. Alpha's... History books made me think humans were cool. With their giant robots and flowery swordsmen. But you? You're just a coward. Hiding be behind that 
kid so you could run away from me again. And let's not forget your wimpy goody two-shoes stick. Oh, I'm making such a difference by hiding random strangers. You know what would be more valuable to everyone if you were dead? That's right, human. You continue. Your continued existence is a crime. Your life is all that stands between us and our freedom. Right now, I can feel everyone's heart pounding together. Everyone's been waiting their whole lives for this moment. But we're not nervous at all. When everyone puts their hearts together, they can't lose. Now, human, let's end this right here, right now. I'll show you how determined monsters can be. Step forward when you're ready. <laughs> okay. The wind is howling. You're filled with determination. Oh. Time, time to do this. That's it then. No more running away. Here I come. On guard. As long as you're green, you can't escape. Unless you learn to face danger head on. You won't last a second against me. Just gotta block these arrows. Y'all can't see them because my camera's not focused in. And I hate it. Not bad. Then how about this? For years, we've dreamed of a happy ending. And now, sunlight is just within our reach. Um, well, well, you're not... I'd rather... I'd rather not be dead right now. Oh, crap. I've been, I've been hit. Yeah. Enough warming up. Oh. Okay, it's time to get out of here. I'm out of here. No, 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 no. You won't get away from me this time. Yeah, I will. Honestly, I'm doing you a favor. No human has ever made it past Asgore. Killing you now is an act of mercy. No. So stop being so darn resilient. I had to... Had to I had to substitute what she said there. Even though y'all didn't see what she said, it was pretty dirty. Ah, oh, crud. Um, I got to run away. Okay, bye. I'm out of here. Ah, oh, crud. You've escaped from me for the last time. Alpha's told me humans were determined. Okay, now there's yellow arrows, which switches around and comes at me from the other side. But I am determined too. Yeah, determined to end this right now. Right now. Okay, I'm... I'm eating the snow piece. You ate the snowman piece. Right now. Heh <laughs> 
Yeah, die already, you little brat. Nope. I'd rather... I'd rather... Sure, I'd rather still be alive than dead. Lying on the ground with my blood on the ground. I... Ring. Hey, what's up? I was just thinking. You, me, and Undyne should all hang out sometime. I think you would make great pals. Let's meet up at her house later. Okay. Super pals. And... Stop running away! Bye. Sans, what are you doing? And I just had to stop and notice. Um, hey, you okay? Armor, so hot. But I can't give up. Um... You okay? You smell that? It smells like fried fish. Don't worry, Undyne. I'll, I'll help you. I got some water for you. Giving Undyne, give Undyne the water? Yes, I will. Goodbye, Undarn. You can go now. I saved you. Goodbye, Undarn. Okay, there's the royal guardsman. Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this, you're filled with determination. Well, that was Waterfall, everybody. But I'm going back to hang out with Undarn. Dang, this video has almost lasted an hour. Um, yes, I'll, I'll go to Waterfall with you, or person. Okay, let's go. Hum, 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 hum. I'm having a little concert. Is that a reference from, from me and Chiron? Coming earlier. Come back again. Come again sometime. Tralala. -la. Guys, I have a theory who's under that cloak. And it's Captain Underpants. <laughs> I'm sure everybody who's watched the, who's watching this video has heard of him. And well, it's a series of books. And there's also a movie about Captain Underpants. Y'all should read it. Y'all should read the series and then watch the movie sometime. Oh ho, the human arrives. Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Will you hang out? Yes, I will. Okay, stand behind me. Psst. Make, you sh make sure you give her this. She loves these. Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am. And I brought a friend. Hi, I don't think we've... <laughs> why don't... Why don't you two... Come in. Well, that was awkward. Here, Undyne. My friend brought a gift for you on their way on their own. Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. So, are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie, I just remembered. I have to go use I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun. <laughs> and he just yeets himself out of the window. Uh and the video has officially been an hour. 
first one hour video, guys. So why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? No. Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right. Yes. Really? How delightful. I accept. Let's all frolic in the field of friendship. Not. Why would I ever be friends with you? If I weren't my house... If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dang, what a shame. I thought Undyne could be friends with you. But I guess I, I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you? <laughs> what a joke. I can make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. Fuhaha. <laughs> it's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? Okay. Sit down in progress. Yes, I will. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. All set. What would you like? Oh, crap. Hey, don't get up. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Um, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. Now, again, there's this little funny Easter egg. And where you point at Undon. And watch this. I'm going to press A. Are you hitting on me? Yeah, I am. <laughs> I love this little Easter egg. Anyways, let's see here. Sugar goes in tea. That sugar's for tea for the tea. I'm not gonna give you a cup of sugar. What do I look like? The ice cream woman? The hu the human ice cream woman terrorize humanity with energy spears? Are there ice cream songs a prelude to destruction? Is that it? No. That's what I thought. Soda. Stick sickly yellow liquid. It says sickly, but hey, I love me some Dr. Pepper, so I'll have it. Oh, soda? Actually, even though you poured it to it, you don't look happy. <laughs> That's fine. I think soda's gross too. It rots your teeth. It rots your mind. It rots your fighting spirit. Huh. Huh? Why do I have it? Um. You have something? You have something on mine? Hot chocolate, green cylinder. Oh, you want some hot chocolate? Wait, wait. I just remembered that empty, that container's empty. I stopped getting it because it was always a hassle. Asgore kept getting marshmallows stuck in his beard. Okay, I guess I'll have the tea, which I hate tea. Tea? Huh? Coming right up. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. Any minute now. <laughs> and there it is. Okay, it's all done. That was some quick tea, honestly. Did you set it at a million degrees or something? Here we are. 
Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot. Just drink it already. You take a sip of the tea. It's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolute, pre absolutely precious friend. Hey, you know, it's kind of strange that you, you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's, that's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Sort of. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me. Do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad, but he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, uh, papyrus. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's not like, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty, he flipping tough. It's just that he's, he's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you. And he ended up being friends with you instead. I can never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he can do something else with the, with his life. Oh, sorry. I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get a, I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Papyrus. His cooking lessons. He was supposed to have that right now. And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to take it for him. Um, made a mess of your house on mine. That's right. Nothing has brought the purse and I closer than cooking. Which means that if I give you his lesson, he will become closer than you can ever, ever imagine. <laughs> Afraid? We're gonna be best friends. Oh, crap. <laughs> Let's start with the sauce. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists. Oh, you pound. Strong. Yeah. You punch the vegetables at full force. You knock over a tomato. Yeah, yeah! Our hearts and are united against these healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn. Yeah! Um. Uh, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now, we add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. But I just buy store brand, they're the cheapest. Yeah! Uh, just put them in the pot. How will you put them in? Fiercely. <laughs> you throw them- You throw everything into the pot as hard as you can, including the box. Yeah. Clanks against the empty bottom. Yeah, I'm into it. Alright. 
Now, what? Now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Just spamming A. Harder! Harder! Well, let me do it. Um, that's a pretty beat up pot you have there. <laughs> that's the stuff. Alright, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stove top symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Hotter. Hotter. Hotter, darn it. Hotter! Wait, that's too... Um... Um, sorry about your house. Ah, uh, man, no wonder Papyrus stinks at cooking. So what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh, who am I kidding? I really, hey, I really messed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. Um, I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I've even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch all out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now, come on. Hit me with all you got. Yeah! I'm not as letting you who make the first attack. No. Show me what you got. Um, okay, I'll, I'll use a fake hit. You pretend to swing at Undyne with all your might. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? Huh. <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid... ...saccharine stick. But the way you hit me right now, it... Reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I... You know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you, you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some some mean human will fall down here, and I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, huh? <laughs> oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the heck out of you. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now let's get the heck out of this flaming house. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang out with Papyrus. So, if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk. Okay, bye, Undyne. SpongeBob! Why didn't- Why have you set me on fire? Why didn't you just write your essay, SpongeBob? Um, okay, not sure what that was about, but... Anyways, let's get back to Hotland and... And, well, 
We'll stop the episode there once I save again. All right, to Hotland we go. And the boat has legs now. Tralala, -la, Timmy Village. The room before the darkening la planter room. <sighs> and back in Hotland we are. Come again sometime. Tralala. -la. And time to save. And. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching. And please make sure to like and subscribe. And click the bell for more content on my channel. If y'all haven't already. And I'll see y'all next time. See ya.